up y'all so I already filmed this video one time and if you guys follow me on snapchat if you don't you should uh, I put on there that yo I filmed this video and now I'm about to edit and upload it actually I filmed two videos like two videos over a period of like two days which was this one and a like no makeup makeup look which both of them I put on snapchat hey I did this and now it's time to upload for some reason, fucking Final Cut Pro will not give me the option to like export the freaking video. I don't know what's going on. I took it out of my computer, I put it back in, I re, like I erased it completely and then re put the files in and re edited it. Nothing, nothing. I was so freaking pissed and I've been so busy lately. Like, we are. I don't want to say remodeling, but like re zhuzhing our house. Like I've gotten all new furniture. We threw all the old stuff out. I'm building like a walk-in closet across from my bathroom and like a room across from my, my bathroom. And I like between that and we like rented a dumpster to like throw over stuff out. I'm like, oh yes, we got a dumpster. I'm throwing everything away. So I've just been going through everything and like throwing it away and I've just been so busy. And then with Eden starting school and homework and uh Y'all, it's been my hysteria. You know, if you follow me on snaps, that I was just going nuts. So anyways, that's a little brief description of why I didn't have a video for five or six days. But let's get on into this video. So back in my like weight loss tips for realist or like lazy girl diet video, I had asked you guys if you wanted um, like... I told you guys that I was on like a low carb type dilly and asked you guys if you wanted like a um, like low carb snacks or low carb shit like the low carb shit that I eat basically uh, so that's what we're gonna do because a lot of you guys were like yes girl we do want that so that's what is going on today okay let's do this sorry if the color looks different because whenever I stop my camera and start it back up again for some reason it like changes the color I don't know what the dilly is but I just had to put some little fucking dogs in check because they're driving me crazy because they're going nuts downstairs so anyways the first things that I'm gonna start with are sweet things because I have a massive sweet tooth and that's usually what I tend to veer towards when I want like some kind of snack or something like that I don't snack a ton but uh, when I do this is usually what I eat so the first type or whatever of snacks that I usually eat is peanut butter like I'm a peanut butter nut I'm a freak I freaking love peanut butter. I could probably live off just peanut butter, just different flavors of peanut butter and my life would be complete. So the first one that I have is this PB Crave Cookie Nookie Peanut Butter with Organic Honey Chocolate Chips Cookie Dough Flavor. This stuff is so fucking good. Oh my God. I will be real honest with you. Um, I just eat this off the spoon. <laughs> I don't even bother putting it on shit. I used to, when I very first got it, it would take like baby carrots and you know like eat it like that but then I found that when I was doing that I was just sucking it off the carrot and wasn't even eating the carrot so I was like fuck it why even bother give me the spoon so this stuff is so good it's only got around uh, eight grams of carbs per two tablespoons I believe that standard peanut butter has like between 12 and 20 grams of carbs per, per, per two tablespoons and this only has eight and the next ones I'm about to talk about only has six so I freaking love this stuff you guys if you can find this shit it is so good so good I don't know what is in this but goddamn like I said I will just eat it off the spoon and be completely satisfied with that it's very hard to stop though so if you're gonna be a spoon eater like I am you best be careful girl just take one big old tablespoon put the lid back on put it back away and walk away you got to because it's that damn good all right next up is PB2 I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this but Basically what this is, um, I did see that Jif just made one too, and there are a couple of different brands that has it. Basically what it is, let me whip it out for you here, is a powder, and what they've done is, like normal peanut butter is made by, y'all know, like grinding up peanuts and mixing that shit together, but what they do with this is they grind the peanuts up and then they press them, 
and it gets all of like the oils and the fats and stuff like that out of it. So there is only 45 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, and five carbohydrates. I said six earlier, but it's only five per serving. So per two tablespoons. So it's way better for you than peanut butter. Um, but you still get the benefits like you would of peanut butter. You still get the fiber because of the nuts. Uh, you still get the protein, like all that stuff. It's basically the same stuff as peanut butter, just with not as as much oil, if that makes sense. So basically what you do with this is take two tablespoons of this per one tablespoon of water, and that's a serving size. I know it sounds disgusting that you're like mixing some water with some powdery shit and you get peanut butter. But I promise you, it's so fucking good and it tastes just like peanut butter. So you can do so many things with it. You can use it for smoothies. You can make almost like an ice cream with it. Like I will take maybe, I'll do like two servings. So I will take um, like four tablespoons of this and mix it with ice and uh, almond milk and just eat it like that. I'll either blend it up really, really uh, densely, if that makes sense, or I'll blend it really fine and drink it as a smoothie. They also have chocolate. This shit right here tastes exactly like a fucking no-bake cookie. It is so good. This is another thing that I will just mix up a batch of and eat that shit right off the spoon, girl, because it is so delicious. So with the chocolate one, I actually have a smoothie recipe that's like bomb AF. If you guys want me to make a video of it, let me know and I will, but it's super, super easy and I will leave the recipe in the click down if you guys are interested in it. But if you still want to see me make a video of it, then just let me know and I'll throw a quick video of it. I just have to figure out how to film it in my kitchen because I'm having like tons of trouble trying to film shit in my kitchen because it's so dark because my house is like surrounded by trees. So it's, it's real dark to, uh, what? No, it's real hard to film in my kitchen because it's so dark in there um and then our blinds are kind of fucked up so uh it's hard to open them and yeah that's what's up but I might take my studio lights down there if you guys really want to see it let me know okay next up so that's it for peanut butters like I said these are freaking awesome and Jeff makes them too now so if you live in a small town where you can't get you know like really eclectic foods because I feel yeah with that one like I have that pain um so I live in a really small town and we have like our organic section is like the size of I don't know like this the size of a fucking basket like it's tiny I don't get anything around here okay I'll stop rambling next up is quest bars i've mentioned these in videos previous but i fucking love these you guys i swear to god if you're somebody that does not like protein bars and you're like no nah, girl uh, uh i can't deal with protein bar do not let that sway your decision because protein bars are so fucking good this is chocolate chip cookie dough it is my favorite my three favorites are white raspberry chocolate chip cookie dough and cookies and cream but they have I, I don't know they have like probably between 10 and 20 flavors and they're so fucking good the other day I had an apple pie one and that shit tastes just like fucking apple pie it was so good they're all so good these bars here um these go by like the net carbs which I'm not really sure what that means but I just kind of you know go with the flow uh these only have four grams of net carbs as far as like the whole range of bars the highest carbs that i've seen one have is six i know the white chocolate raspberry ones have six but goddamn y'all these are so good like the chocolate chip cookie dough one legit tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough like it tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough it tastes just like it so good Without this and like those things, there's no way that I would be able to eat lower carbs or keep my carb intake down because I, like I said, have this massive ass sweet tooth and there ain't no fucking way now I would be able to live without sweets and those keep me maintained. Know what I mean? All right, so the last thing I have for, I guess like peanut or snacky, or what okay the next thing I have is pistachios pistachios like basically any kind of nut um like almonds pecans peanuts whatever most nuts have about eight grams of carbs between like eight and 15 grams of carbs per serving so these only have eight and I love them this is another thing where you must pour yourself some out this is the standard kind but I really like salt and pepper flavor that is my line <laughs> 
Um, these are the standard kind though, but this is another thing where you gotta pour you some out and then walk away, put your bag in back in the cupboard and then walk away with your little your little your little bowl because mm -mm, mm -mm, girl, I can like slam like this whole bag would be like a snack. You know what I mean? Like the whole bag and I can't do that. You can't you can't do that. Okay, next up. Now it is time for I don't know, other stuff, whatever. I don't really know what to call them. So when I want tacos, when I want a sandwich, when I want fajitas or fajitas, anything like that, anything that includes a tortilla that you need a tortilla for basically, I will go to these. These are the La Banderita carb counter tortillas. These only have five net carbs per tortilla. And these are some big ass tortillas y'all. Like they are big you can bake these and make chips out of them like you can do a lot of stuff with these you can also do um like make almost basically like an elephant ear where you slap some butter on that shit sprinkle some cinnamon and some stevia and boom you got an elephant ear they're so freaking amazing like i've told you guys before i'm a total bread fiend so this actually gives me the it kind of tricks me into thinking or tricks my body into thinking i'm having bread when i'm really not do you know what i mean there's another thing that i like to use but i threw the motherfuckers away because uh i only had two left and they were expired but another thing is it's called hungry girl um bread something or another if i can find what it is i will click it or put it in the click down below but it's basically like pita bread it's like a little thing and you put it together like this and it you can make like sandwiches with it and it only has like five net carbs and it is the brand is hungry girl if you guys have never heard of the hungry girl website it's basically this chick that created this whole like weight loss program for like bitches that like to eat basically um so if you are interested in that i will leave that in the clip down i'll see if i can find the item and put it down there because i really really like it and it's basically like if you're somebody that's like oh no girl i can't do low carbs because i am a bread whore i am the same way like just try it bully me just try it all right so carb count carb counter carb counter tortillas fave love those i try to eat a small amount of carbs and because of that um i do tend to eat a lot of like lean meats and cheeses i fucking love cheese cheese is like peanut butter to me i could probably just live off cheese and peanut butter and be perfectly okay with that for the rest of my life i am a creature of habit so i tend to find something that i like and eat it over and over and over again it doesn't bother me at all so one of the cheese snacks that i like to eat are baby bells i don't know if you guys have ever heard of these but they're like these little tiny cheese wedges and they're 70 calories and no grams of carbs to me, when I say, ooh, no carbs, that means like, yay, I can eat 12. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but I know I can eat like basically as many as I want to. Um, I don't like sit and eat 12 or anything. I was just, just being funny. Okay, um, Gouda is my favorite flavor. They have Gouda, mozzarella, sharp cheddar. Like they have all different flavors. And they're like these little cheese wheels. Wheels? Little cheese wheels. They're like these little cheese wheels and they come in this like waxy stuff and it's it's just so cool. So they come like this and it's like this little wax thing and then you just take the little stringers that are hanging out and peel around it and pulp it open and you got some cheese. Um, it's so good y'all. <laughs> Okay, so I just realized that I totally forgot to put my microphone on my camera. That's why I was like filming and I'm like looking at my camera like, why does it look so weird? Because when you make a friend on top. So if this is really quiet, I'm sorry, but it's just because I forgot to put my microphone on top. I'm pretty close to my camera, so hopefully the internal microphone will be, you know, okay. Um, but if it's really quiet, so sorry about that. But the next video, I will put the mic on, okay? Okay. So anyways, Baby Bell is... These are freaking awesome. They have a thousand different flavors. I love these, and I didn't have any in my refrigerator right now, but the Laughing Cow little triangle things are so freaking good, too. I like taking the little Laughing Cow triangle things and spreading them on toasted Hungry Girl bread. Mm, 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 mm. 
Y'all, so good. So the next thing I have is these Himalayan organic shelled hemp seeds. I guess I could put this with like the seeds and the peanut butter, but you know, I wasn't obviously the categories just went out the window. So these are so fucking good. I don't know what's in these. I don't know what they're made of. I mean, they're hemp seeds and it says that they, it's basically organic shelled hemp seeds and Himalayan pink salt and that's it. That's all that's on the ingredients. But there is so much goddamn flavor in these. I don't even know, like, I don't even know where it comes from. Personally, I'm up until about probably, I don't know, like six months ago or something, I had never tried hemp seeds before, like showered or not showered or whatever, um, because we just don't have them in my area, you know what I mean? Like, we don't have a Whole Foods. What we have here is, like, the Amish store. That's, like, as close as we get to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's around here these are so freaking good there's so much flavor in them like sometimes if i am like cooking chicken or something i will just like sprinkle some of these on here there are no car or no there's one carb per two tablespoons so they're really low in carbs there's 180 calories and 15 grams of fat per two tablespoons but it is good fat so these are so good you guys i don't know if you've ever tried hemp seeds before but don't it don't it because there's so much flavor in them i couldn't believe how much flavor they had it was crazy okay so the last thing that i have is something that i will either have for lunch i actually just had one for lunch right before filming or something that i will have for supper and it is these all natural turkey patties um the brand is jack's special grilled i guess but these have 20 grams of protein, they're gluten-free, they only have five grams of carbs. So a lot of times for supper, like I'm very plain Jane, I don't need an extravagant supper. I am a creature of habit, like I told you guys. Um, a lot of times for supper, if Tim and Aiden are like having Burger King or just something shitty that like I really shouldn't be eating then I'll just have like two of these and that will be my supper and they fill you up and they're so freaking good they have like turkey ones and they have chicken ones and the chicken ones have like like even the turkey ones there's one turkey that has like um, feta cheese and um, spinach inside there is a chicken one that has um, cheddar and bacon inside like they're so good I freaking love these they're so so good so yeah these are freaking amazing even if you're not on a diet they're like 160 calories and 8 grams of fat um, per patty so that ain't shit even if you're not on like low carbs to be able to eat two of those and have that be your supper like I personally get filled up by that I don't know you know and, and I'm an eater so like I like to eat until I'm completely stuffed that's another reason why I do low carbs is because I know I can eat more and I don't know it's crazy if you guys want me to go more into kind of what I do and the things that I eat during the day or whatever like the um, you know basically like the shit that I eat in a day if you guys want to know that or you're just curious or you're curious about like what I'm doing like what kinds of exercises or whatever because like I've told you guys in my weight loss video I do not diet I basically just eat no carbs or low carbs eat as little carbs as I can and um yeah that's that's what's up sugars and breads and refined starches and like all that shit are really bad for you um, and I feel like I have like a lot more energy from not eating those and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what's up. So those are my favorite low carb foods or snacks or whatever. If you guys have any, um, low carb like snacks or favorites or recipes or any like anything, anything like that, share them in the comments and that way we can all share we can all share recipes and stuff um even if you're not on low carbs but you uh have something or eat something or know of a snack that is then definitely let me know in the comments and yeah i think that's it so uh thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe if you are not follow me on instagram twitter and snapchat if you please and i'll catch you guys in my next one peace